Okay. So we will start the introductory um, slideshow and then we'll see what we do next. I'm going to share the screen. Okay. All right, let's start this introductory slideshow. Welcome to Raising Happy Kids Zoom Show, episode 13, Single Parents and the One Rule. During this one hour Zoom show, I focus on sharing tips and lessons on the one rule to raising happy kids. Each episode has at least one example of the one rule in action, demonstrating how it helps you raise a happy child. Then we have Q&A and discussion. When I talk about raising happy kids or creating harmony with kids, I bring up the one rule. The one rule equals agreement, agreement equals harmony. Using the one rule means you find agreement, that's the rule. You find a solution that everyone likes. You've found agreement, you've found harmony. Knowing and following the one rule is all you really need to create harmony between you and your kids. In any situation where there are differences that might lead to conflict between you and your kids, use the one rule. I learned this strategy from three-year-old children. I was teaching them a complex conflict resolution strategy, actually intended for adults, and they taught me this. So don't think you're in for a rough time. It's simple, it's easy, it's powerful and effective. It works if you use it. I'm glad you are here. So I think today we're going to do something a little different. Uh, let me get this up. Okay. Um, I'm going to share some of the uh, guardian stories with you, at least starting with the first one. Then we'll see what happens next. Welcome to Karen Rice's Family Zoom Station, episode 15, The Bully and Guardians. 
this was the first guardian story that arrived. Okay, we just went through this. So the story I am about to tell you is just an example of the one rule at work in the lives of these characters. If different things were important to them, if they were in different circumstances, the one rule would still help them find harmony. The Bully and the Guardians. Timmy was walking to school. He was going the long way, so he would not meet Jeff. Jeff would always say things that frightened him. Jeff called him names and threatened to beat him up. He was glad that Jeff wasn't in his class. Jeff was older. Timmy was also glad that they didn't have recess and lunch together, but there was after school to deal with. He wished his mom could take him to school like lots of the other kids. Their moms and dads took them to school, but his mom was a waitress and had to be at work before he left for school. He didn't know his dad. He got his own breakfast, got ready for school, and left extra early so he could walk the long way to school. He and his mom were new in town, so they didn't know many people. He wasn't very good at meeting kids. He was quiet and used to keeping to himself. He was in the second grade, but he was small for his age. When he was just a few blocks from school, he heard a couple of girls behind him. They were talking and laughing. One of the girls said, hi. Hi, said Timmy. I'm Pam and this is Jenny. What's your name? You are new here, aren't you? Where do you live? I haven't seen you walking to school before. These girls were older. They looked like they were in the fifth or sixth grade. I'm Timmy. I am new and I don't usually walk this way. I'm going a different way today. I just don't want to meet a boy named Jeff. He's been mean to me. Timmy felt safe with these girls. He felt comfortable to talk with them. I think I know who you mean. He's in the fourth grade. He's a bully. He likes to pick on younger kids, said Jenny. Oh, yeah, I know who he is, said Pam. I've heard about him picking on little kids for a while. We should do something about that. Yeah, we should. I wonder what we could do, said Jenny. Do you want to walk with us, Timmy, asked Pam. Sure, thanks, said Timmy. We'll be your guardians, said Jenny. Great name, Jen, said Pam. I sure feel better having guardians, said Timmy. Hey, maybe we could start a club, the Guardians, and we could help protect little kids from police, said Pam. Awesome idea, Pam, said Jenny. Let's do it. I'm sure some of the other kids would like to join. Let's see if we can talk with some of them before class. When they got to school before Timmy went to line up, thanks Pam and Jenny, it was fun walking to school with you, he said. We should thank you, Timmy. Thanks to you, we have an idea for a great new club, said Jenny. Maybe we could have vests or scarves or caps that say guardian on them. Another great idea, Jen. Do you want us to walk you home after school, Timmy, asked Pam. Sure, said Timmy. You're in Miss Jensen's class, right, asked Pam. Yes, said Timmy. We'll pick you up there. Just wait for us. 
Tell her we're picking you up. She's nice. She'll let you wait for us. We'll be there as quick as we can, said Pam. After school, the girls walked Timmy home. Two of their friends joined them, a girl named Lacey and a boy named Ken. All the way, they were talking about the guardians. This day, they took Timmy's long way, but they were talking about taking his short way tomorrow. They all agreed that if they were all together, there would be no trouble from Jeff. They were right. They saw him, but he didn't come near them. At the end of the week, when they got to Timmy's house, Timmy's mom was on the porch. She invited the kids for a snack. Hi, kids. You can call me Kathy. Hi, Kathy. I'm Pam. This is Jenny, Lacey, and Ken, said Pam. She said that Timmy had told her all about them helping him and about the guardians. She wanted to thank them for helping Timmy when she couldn't, and she wanted to share an idea with them to see what they thought about it. While they were having their snack, she explained that she had been taking a class online, learning how adults and kids can get along better and even how kids and kids can get along better. It was called the one rule. It was simple to learn, and she was thinking that it might help them as guardians. It's fun too, she said. How does it go, asked Pam. In the class, we have partners we work with, and then we perform for the group. Let me tell you how we do it. What's the rule, asked Jenny. Oh, the one rule is agreement. That's how we solve problems. We decide on something we both like and we agree to solve it this way. Then we act it out for the whole group. That sounds fun and easy, said Jenny. Yeah, let's try it, said Pam. Lacey, Ken, you guys want to try it, right? Sure, said Lacey and Ken. What do we do, asked Lacey. First, you choose partners, just for the first solution. You can switch partners later if you want to. Then you decide on a problem you want to solve. Everyone can work on the same problem, or each group can choose their own problem. Just remember, you have to solve the problem by figuring out something you agree on because you both like it, explained Kathy. Let's think about solving something about bullies, said Lacey. Yeah, that's what the guardians are all about, said Jenny. Timmy, do you want to be my partner, asked his mom. I just want to watch, said Timmy. Okay. This time, we'll just watch. After about 10 minutes, both groups were back. So who wants to go first, asked Kathy. We'll go first, said Pam. Okay, first tell us what the problem is you're solving. Then show us how the solution works, said Kathy. We decided to solve a problem of bullying during lunch. Sometimes we see kids taking balls away from younger kids. Here's what we came up with, said Pam. She explained that the guardians would help hand out the equipment at lunch. If someone did not get something to play with, here is what the guardians would do. Pam played the kid that did not get a ball. Since all the balls are taken, what can I help you with that you would like to do? Asked Guardian Jenny. Man, I really wanted a basketball. There are six groups playing with basketballs. You could join one of those groups. 
I wanted to play by myself. I'll go with you and see if you can join one of the groups if you'd like me to. I know all those kids. They won't want me to play with them. Oh, look, Carl is playing by himself now. Should we go see if he'd like to play with you? I don't know. Do you want me to go ask him? I guess. Okay, wait here. I'll be right back. Carl says, yes, let's go. I'll introduce you. Then Pam and Jenny bowed, signaling the end of their play. Everyone clapped. That was great. Yeah, that should solve a lot of problems at lunch. It makes everyone feel cared about. What a great solution. That could solve the problem of bullying. People who feel cared about don't bully other people, said Kathy. We're next, said Ken. We're not going to tell you the problem. You'll know it when we do our play. I'm Guardian Ken. I walk up to someone on the way to school. Hi, Jeff. I'm Ken. Can I walk with you for a while? Mom, whispered Timmy. They chose my problem. Yes, they did, whispered his mom. Why, asked Lacey, who was playing Jeff. I want to invite you to join our club. Why do you want to invite me? I think you'd be a great member. I think you'd fit in great in this club and that the club would be lucky to have you join. What's the club? It's called the Guardians. And we especially help kids who are being bullied by other kids. I figured since you're big and strong that you'd make a great guardian. What do I have to do? Well, we just started the club and right now we're helping kids go to school and home safely and helping kids be safe from bullies at school. We get together after school and practice ideas to help kids be safe. Want to join? I'll think about it. I hope you decide to do it. I think you'd be a perfect guardian. Okay, I'll do it. At least I'll try it out. Great. Let's meet where they hand out the balls at lunch. Do you mind if I walk with you to school today, guardian Jeff? They took their bow and everyone clapped. I want to be a guardian for kindergartners, said Timmy. Great idea, Guardian Timmy, said Pam. You kids have convinced me. I'm checking out being able to earn a living doing this work with the one rule. Now I'm convinced I've got to do this. You want to come over and do this regularly? They all agreed. Bye, Kathy. Bye, Timmy. See you next week. Thanks for being here. Okay. Now I'm going to choose the next one. Okay. I've never done this before. Read, I might be able to read all the stories. We will see. Okay, here's the next story. Episode 16, The Guardians Go Public. Now we'll skip the introduction to the one rule. Okay, The Guardians, 
Pam, Jenny, Lacey, Ken, Timmy, Jeff, Elaine, John, Mitch, Mary, the Guardian's coach on the one rule, Kathy, Timmy's mom. The Guardians had been coming to Kathy and Timmy's every week to practice using the one rule to help them in their roles as guardians. They took turns bringing snacks so that Kathy wouldn't have to feed them all, especially since their numbers were growing. They dropped the snacks off at Timmy's and Kathy's when they picked up Timmy up so they could walk with him to school. Today was Jeff and Elaine's turn to bring the snacks. Hey, Timmy, here are the snacks for the guardians meeting after school, said Jeff, as Timmy opened the door. Thanks, Jeff. Thanks, Elaine. I'll, said Timmy, I'll be right out. Timmy sure wasn't afraid of Jeff anymore. In fact, they were good buddies. Jeff had been in the guardians for a few weeks now. Ken had invited Jeff, just like in the demo that he and Lacey did that first day. Jeff discovered how good it feels to help other people. He loved helping hand out equipment at lunch. He used the one rule to make sure everyone felt good. He no longer felt like all he was good for was making trouble for other people. Now he felt proud of himself. Now he got smiles from other kids and adults at school. Everyone knew him and called out, Hi, Jeff. Jeff invited Elaine to join the Guardians. She was Jeff's younger sister. She was actually in Timmy's class, and since they were both Guardians, they had become very good friends. At one of the weekly practice sessions, the guardians had learned that when they saw kids who looked like they might be having trouble, they could go up to the kids and say, does anyone want some help? That was Jeff's and Elaine's specialty. Then the kids would tell them what was happening and the guardians would use the one rule and help them solve their problem, usually in minutes, so it didn't cut into their playtime. Sometimes now, kids who were having problems would come to one of the guardians and ask them to help them solve their problem fast. The guardians were wondering about teaching the one rule to other kids all the kids who were interested, then they could solve their own problems fast. In fact, today that was one thing they wanted to talk about before they practiced using the one rule. They knew they'd have to talk with Miss Jensen. She was the teacher sponsoring their club, the Guardians. She made sure they had approval to walk to school with kids who felt better walking with guardians. She got school approval for the guardians to help out during lunch and even recesses. She was also the one who came up with the idea that when they were working as guardians, they would work with at least one guardian partner. All the guardians wore something that said guardians on it, a vest, scarf, cap. They tried to decide on one type of clothing and color, but finally realized with the help of the one rule that the important thing, the thing they all really wanted was to have guardians printed on it. Hi guardians, said Kathy. Great snacks, Jeff and Elaine. Those are from you, right? Yes, said Jeff and Elaine. I thought of bringing the fruit, said Elaine. And I carried it and added the cheese and crackers, added Jeff. 
I made lemonade. It's all laid out on the table on the porch. Let's have a snack, then we can get started. Kathy said, Pam, we want to have a meeting before we start practicing. We have at least one thing to talk about, maybe more. Sure, said Kathy. Do you want me to be part of it or shall I have my snack inside? We want you to be part of it, said Jenny. It's about the one rule and we learned that from you. Sure, said Kathy, let's eat. Then we can focus on the meeting. After they were all done eating and cleaning up, thanks, said Lacey, that was a yummy snack. You're welcome. Pam, are you going to lead the meeting, asked Kathy. What's this all about? Sure, I'll lead it. We'd been thinking that there might be other kids who would like to know how to use the one rule. If they knew how to use it, then they won't always have to come to us to solve their problems. We've asked a few of the kids. They don't wanna be guardians, but they'd like to know how to solve problems fast. Ms. Jensen said that it would be helpful if every class had at least a couple of kids who know the one rule and could help out in class sometimes. That's the first thing we want to talk about today. So what do you have in mind, asked Kathy. Jenny had an interesting idea, said Pam. Explain your idea, Jen. Well, my mom is on the PTSA, the Parent Teacher Student Association. Sometimes she talks about the meetings. She really likes the guardians and that I'm in the club. Annette, you're one of the founding members. You came up with a name, said Pam. Yeah, you're right. Anyway, one of the things she's always talking about is fundraising. They do things to earn money for things like the sixth grade trip and other things. I was telling Pam about this and we came up with a great idea. Let's do a fundraiser with the PTSA, teaching the one rule to anyone who wants to learn, kids, grown-ups. Grown-ups sure need to learn the one rule, said Jeff. You got that right, Jeff, said Lacey. Hey, I have an idea, said Ken. You know how we decided we decide on the problem and then figure out our demo and then perform the demo for everyone. What if the fundraiser came in two parts? During the day, we teach the one rule just like Kathy taught it to us. Then in the evening, anyone who wants can perform their demos on the stage for all their families and the families buy tickets to come and watch. What do you think? That sounds fun, said Pam. Would you be part of it, Kathy? I'll have to make sure I'm not working on the day of the event. I think Kathy should get part of the money that comes for the fundraiser, said Mary, one of the newest guardians. Oh yes, that was part of the idea. The guardians are going to get some of the money too. Of course, Kathy would be paid to be the head coach on the one rule, said Jenny. Think of all she's done for us and never been paid, said Lacey. Well, being paid for coaching at this event makes all the difference. <clears throat> I can just arrange to take the day off. So any day works for me, said Kathy. Does anyone have any other ideas or questions about this? Asked Pam. Since no one responded, so I guess we all agree that this is a good idea. Let's decide what we need to do next, said Pam. We have to talk with Miss Jensen, said Elaine. Timmy and I can do that, right, Timmy? Sure, Elaine, said Timmy. 
Pam, would you come over and talk with my mom with me? Asked Jenny. We can do that today after practice, said Pam. That sounds good, said Jenny. I think we should all talk with some of the kids who have said they want to learn the one rule, said John, another of the newer guardians. We can tell them about our plan and see what they say about it. I think that's a good idea for any of us who want to do that, said Jeff. We can all report to the group next week. Oh, yeah, any of us who want to do that, said John. I'm learning about agreement. It's the best, but I'm still learning. I just had a thought, said Mary. What if kids from other schools or groups want to learn how to be guardians for the kids they're with and start their own guardians club? Great thinking, Mary, said Pam. That sounds like it could easily happen. Well, we could teach them. It would be great if Kathy could coach them. But you have to work, don't you, Kathy? I'll have to think about this, said Kathy. It sounds just like what I've been wanting since our first meeting. I'll say yes. I will be the coach even for other groups and maybe put on other events like the one you thought of, the one we've been talking about. This is like a dream come true. This is a dream come true, a dream coming true. It'll work out somehow. It's too good not to. Okay, before we start our practice, let's get clear on what we're going to do next. Elaine and Timmy are going to talk with Miss Jensen. Jen and I are going to talk with her mom, and anyone who wants to is going to talk with the kids who are interested in learning the one rule. Right? asked Pam. Right, shouted the guardians. The end of that story. Let's see what comes next. Okay. Okay, here comes the next story. Homeschooling today, sibling rivals go peaceful. Okay, we'll skip the introduction to the one rule. Here we go. The guardians were having their first online meeting after their fundraising event with the PTSA the Parent Teacher Student Association. There were too many new guardians to meet at Kathy and Timmy's. Besides, they were all very busy. After the event, Kathy started giving classes online and in person for kids and parents she was even going to be giving them to teachers and other staff at Timmy's school. And now she was getting requests from parents and teachers in other locations, even other towns, other states, and another country. The guardians were her support staff. They coached kids who wanted more practice than they got in Kathy's weekly classes. Guardian Mitch was the first one to speak up. I want some help. Could we focus 
getting along with brothers and sisters today? Sure, said Pam. Does that sound good to everyone? Everyone agreed. So what's up, Mitch? asked Jeff. Well, it feels kind of strange and embarrassing, but it's my family. Ever since I joined the Guardians, I've been having trouble with my big brother and sister. What kind of trouble, Mitch? asked Jen. My brother is always saying that now I think I'm such a big shot. They both call me superhero. They say, ooh, here comes the superhero. It hurts my feelings. Let's break into working partners and see what we come up with, said Pam. Pam had sort of become the leader of the Guardians. It worked for her and for everyone else too. She easily and naturally took the leader's position. Everyone was glad she did this. Having someone do this helped things go smoothly. Each team went into a private online space where they could figure out their demo. When they were done, they went back to the main online meeting space. After they were all back in the main meeting area, Pam asked, who would like to go first? We would, said Jeff and Elaine together, of course, they are brother and sister. Okay, said Jeff, I'm the narrator, so I'll explain what we did, then we'll do the demo, the demonstration. We decided that Elaine would be the one whose feelings got hurt. Okay, here's our demo. It really hurts my feelings when you call me a superhero. I wish you wouldn't do that. You are a superhero, aren't you? I mean, now that you're a guardian, doesn't that make you a superhero? No, I'm just a helper, and the way you say it is what hurts my feelings. It makes me feel like you think it's a bad thing for me to do. Does it matter what I think? I guess it does. Well, I really do think you are a superhero. I was really surprised when I heard that you were a guardian. Maybe it's the way mom told me about you joining. She said, she thought I should do that too. And why didn't I join? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know that. You could join if you want to. I don't want to. That's the problem. It makes me feel like I'm not good enough because I don't want to help like you do. Oh, I'm sorry about that. I've learned during our coaching sessions that it's important to do what we want to do no matter what other people think. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you too for being in the guardians. I just don't want to. Then it's good you are not. You might like to join in the coaching for kids that don't want to be in the guardians. What's that about? Well, We've learned something called the one rule. It helps us solve problems fast so that everyone feels good. Like we just did, exactly like we just did. I think I'll check it out. Is it hard to learn? No, it's super easy. Do you wanna do this on your own or would you like a guardian to help you? I'll take the guardian's help. I still want to call you a superhero. That's okay now. It will make me feel good now. I just thought maybe we do have a superpower. I think the one rule is our superpower. Now you'll have that superpower too. That's our demo, said Jeff. Great, said Pam. Next. I'll go next, said Lacey. The rest of you are in the family meeting. So I figured out one on my own. 
Okay, said Pam. This is the first thing I thought when I heard your situation, Mitch. This is just going to be me playing you and working things out in myself. I made some notes so I don't forget. I wish I didn't get so upset when my brother and sister tease me. I wonder why it hurts my feelings. I just remembered something. It was something new we learned at our last session with Kathy. What was it? How did it go? Oh yeah, it's not up to other people to make my life better. It's up to me. If I want to have things go better, I need to have better self-talk. Instead of getting upset when they call me a superhero, I could ignore them. Or I could say, thanks. I could actually feel good that they call me a superhero. I kind of am. I help kids every day. I help kids stay safe. And with the one rule, I help them feel good about themselves and their life. Oh yeah, Kathy also said for us to think mostly about things that make us feel good when we think them. I'm going to do that starting now. And when anyone says I'm a superhero, I'm going to feel glad and maybe even thank them. That's my demo, said Lacey. Awesome, Lacey, said Pam. Now we'll do the family meeting demo. I'm the mom, John is the dad, Jen, Ken, and Timmy are the kids. So what's this family meeting thing about, asked dad. It's something I learned about in the Guardians. Guardians, guardians, guardians. Stop it, kids, shouted mom. Go on, Mitch. Well, that's what this meeting is about. I'm tired of being teased for being in the guardians. Guard, stop that. So what do you want to do about this, asked dad. I want to have a one rule session, all of us. What's a one rule session, asked mom. This is what I do with the kids every day. I help them find a solution that they all like. Then they agree on that solution. So what solution would you like? I'd like them to stop teasing me. Now what? We decide if we all like that solution. If we agree that that is a solution that we all like, then we agree that that is the solution we want and then we're done. This is dumb. That's enough of that. What solution would you like then? I just want to keep teasing you, superhero big shot. You're going to be in big trouble after we're done here. You always take his side. I'm always the one that gets in trouble. He never gets in trouble. That's what you, it's what you do that gets you in trouble, young man. Don't go blaming your brother. Let's at least see if we can find a solution we can all agree on. The kids at school do it every day. I guess I should have started by telling you what Coach Kathy told us about the one rule. We are each important. And then I point to each of you and say, you are important, and you are important, and you are important, and you are important, and I am important. I would have started with, I am important, said his brother. That's a good way to start, too. Then she says, we each deserve to feel good. And now we're going to figure out a way for this to happen. Then we do. 
we find something that everyone likes. That's how we all get to feel good. So far, we've had two ideas, but not everyone likes the ideas. I'd stop teasing you if dad would take me, only me, when he goes fishing. That sounds like a good idea, son. Wait, I want something special if I'm going to stop teasing too. I want to help you, Mom, figure out the menus for the week, and I want to help with the shopping and fixing the food. What about cleaning up and doing the dishes? You want to help with that, too? Sure. Well, let's give it a try. So you're going fishing with Dad, and you're going to help Mom with the food, and you're both going to stop teasing me about anything, right? Right, right. Mom, Dad, does all this sound good to you too? Yes, son. You've done a great job here tonight. Yes, you really are the guardian of our family. It seems like things are going to be better than ever. That's our demo, said Pam. Thanks, guys, said Mitch. You've given me great things to think about. You have really done a great job here today, said Coach Kathy. I took lots of notes. I'll do a quick review. In the last demo, you saw an example of working with your whole family and using the one rule. Now you might understand more of why your brother and sister were teasing you. Maybe they both do want special attention from your parents. You saw how important it is to tell everyone in the beginning that they are each important and point to each one saying, you're important. And they each deserve to feel good and that you are going to find out how to do that. After that was done, everything shifted and the family found a solution fast. So working with your whole family is an option, or you could just figure it out in your own mind like Lacey did. That's just as useful. Finding and maintaining your own feel-good space inside, thinking the thoughts that help you do that. Maybe you could take a look at her notes if that would help you. Or you could talk with your brother like the demo with Jeff and Elaine. There might be something you can work out with him that could solve the whole situation. So, Mitch, how do you feel now? I don't feel so lost and I sure don't feel embarrassed, said Mitch. I know there are many ways I could solve this. I feel more hopeful. You know that if you need one of us to help you, just ask, said Pam. Thanks, all of you, said Mitch. You've been a lot of help. I'm sure that by our next meeting, this will be fixed. Sounds good, Mitch, said Pam. Is that it, Kathy? Does anyone have anything else? I'm done, said Kathy. I just want to say you all did a great job. You are great guardians. I'm proud to have you on my team. We'll meet again next week, said Pam. Have a great week, guardians and Coach Kathy. Okay. We have a few more minutes. Um, I think we could do one more story. Whoops.
Okay. Ah, uh, yes, this is a good one. The Guardian's Harmony with Adults. Okay, we'll skip the first part. The story I'm about to tell you is a slightly different approach to finding harmony than I usually focus on. Today, the focus is on kids finding harmony with adults. We also look at a different aspect of the one rule. The one rule still helps them find harmony. Kathy, my mom wants me to come to the next parent teacher student association meeting and tell them about the idea for the fundraiser. She thinks it's a great idea, but wants me to explain it to everyone. I'm feeling very nervous. I'm not used to talking with groups of adults, said Jenny. You'll do great, Jen, said Pam. The girls had stopped by to talk with Kathy. She was their one rule coach after all. And since she was an adult, they figured she'd have some helpful ideas so Jenny could feel confident sharing the fundraiser idea with all those adults. Jenny's mom said there'd be at least 15 people, including parents and teachers. I'm especially worried about talking to teachers. I've been pretty lucky and had friendly teachers, but they're not all like that. I hope there are only friendly teachers and parents at the meeting, said Jenny. They were all sitting on the front porch, Kathy, Timmy, Jenny, and Pam. This was not a regular meeting day when all the guardians would be there. Pam and Jenny were just walking Timmy home. They hoped it would be a good time to talk with Kathy. It was. Well, I certainly understand what you're talking about, Jenny. I sometimes have to deal with very rude people in the restaurant. I always remember the one rule, said Kathy. The one rule, said Pam. What does the one rule have to do with talking with rude adults? They are not going to even try to be agreeable. You might be right about that, but there is something you don't know about the one rule and about rude adults. I've never explained how we learn to use the one rule with two-year-olds, said Kathy. Two-year-olds, interrupted Pam. I don't get it. What do they have to do with grumpy adults? I'll explain, said Kathy, because they actually have a lot to do with each other. When we are using the one rule with two-year-olds, we have to do most of the work. We have to try to agree with the two-year-old, and if we can't, we have to help them choose something we like before the two-year-old is determined to get or do something we don't want. Rude adults are kind of like two-year-olds. We have to do most of the work trying to agree with what they want. Just like two-year-olds, they don't know how to even want to find agreement. We are the examples of the one rule in action to both of those groups, two-year-olds and grumpy adults. <clears throat> I do get it, exclaimed Pam. They get to see how good it feels to have someone see their side of things and consider what they want is important. Oh, I get it. I get it too. I can just think of any grumpy adult as a two-year-old who doesn't know better 
and be an example of a caring person to them, said Jenny. Yes, said Kathy. And the other thing is that probably when these adults were small, people did not treat them kindly. And that's why they developed the habit of being rude or whatever. Maybe using the one rule this way might help them feel better about life and other people. At least that's what's in my mind. When is your meeting, Jenny? I think it's next Thursday. At least that's what my mom thinks. She's going to find out for sure. Well, at our next guardians meeting, let's act out talking with adults, said Kathy. I was thinking the same thing, said Pam. Me too, said Jenny. We'll do it, said Kathy. I'll explain to everyone what I explained to you, and then we'll do our practice. It feels like building a bridge between people. It feels expansive. That's what Ken did when he reached out to Jeff and invited him to be a guardian, said Pam. Yes, said Jenny, and that has worked out great. I feel better already, and I'm sure I'll feel great by the time of the meeting. I'm sure you will, Jenny, said Kathy. You're an awesome coach, Kathy, said Pam. Well, we'd better go. Bye, Kathy. Bye, Timmy. A few days later, the guardians were all gathered at Kathy's and Timmy's. Jenny told them about her upcoming meeting with the PTSA. Everyone was very excited about this. Pam explained how they decided to talk with Kathy about creating harmony with adults, even rude, grumpy adults. Everyone agreed that that was a problem sometimes. Then Kathy explained what she had told Jenny and Pam and Timmy about using the one rule with two-year-olds and rude adults. She also explained that they had decided that if everyone felt good about it, this day they would practice finding harmonious solutions when dealing with adults. She said she'd been thinking about this since they met a few days ago. She knows that we can all understand that adults are not, who are not feeling happy and friendly are feeling bad inside of themselves. Some of these adults have been feeling bad for a long time. That's why they are rude or mean. Right, said Jeff. Everyone knew he spoke from experience. People who feel good inside, people who are happy, don't want to hurt other people in any way, said Kathy. So maybe we can be a bit of goodness in their lives if they come into our lives. It could make a di good difference in their lives, maybe even a good big difference. The one rule can help us do that. So let's do this. Yes, shouted all the guardians. Then they partnered up and went to create their demos. Okay, guardians, who goes first, asked Pam. I want to go first, said Jenny, since this is all because of me. Jeff is my partner. Maybe your need started this, but we all need it, said Kathy, even me. Our problem is a grumpy father who doesn't like the idea of the one rule for a fundraising event. He thinks they should have a carnival. Here's what we came up with. No way. We always have a carnival. Everyone loves it. I love the carnival too, said Jenny. Everyone has fun there going to try their luck at different booths, eating all the delicious carnival food. We have to have a carnival, but I think we can have both. You're a crazy little girl. Do you know how much work is involved in having the carnival? No way can we do both. I know it takes lots of people, lots of work to do the carnival. This won't take very much work. 
we have the place. We can do it here at the school. There's almost no setup involved. Lots of the kids are interested, even some of the teachers and parents. Doesn't sound good to me. I understand that, but I think, but think of how much money we can raise with just a little work. Every student who participates is going to have their whole family come to see them and friends and neighbors. All those people will buy tickets and goodies during intermission. We'll make a fortune. Kids love to act, to be on stage. They will only need one day to learn how to do this and to perform at night. We could even do a few of these, inviting kids and families from all over town. Kids from other schools already like the idea of the Guardians. Well, the Guardians is a good group of kids. I guess that is a good idea. You're right about making lots of money. Maybe we can use some of that for the carnival. Yes, that's a great idea. Then Jenny and Jeff took a bow and everyone clapped and hooted. Wow, said Kathy, awesome use of the one rule for two-year-olds. We'll have to think of a name for that version of the one rule. We want to go next, said Timmy, Elaine and I. Elaine is Jeff's younger sister and in the same class with Timmy. Here's our problem. Well, my problem. Talking with a mean, bossy teacher during lunch. Here's what we came up with. Elaine is the teacher. Timmy, get over here and sit down. You know you're not supposed to sit on that wall. Oh, Mrs. Jones, I'm sorry I didn't know that. Don't you lie to me, young man. No one is supposed to sit on that wall. I don't lie, Mrs. Jones. I just never sat on the wall before and it looked like fun. I'm sorry to have bothered you by doing that. Fun? Jeremy fell off that wall and cracked his head open. He was my student, and can you imagine they blame me for that? His mother, his father, his whole family, they've never stopped blaming me for that. So no one sits on that wall ever. I don't ever want to catch you on that wall again. Do you hear me? Yes, Mrs. Jones, I won't ever sit on that wall again. I'm glad you explained how dangerous it can be. Well, Yes, I'm glad you understand. You can go and play now. I'm sorry I yelled at you. You go play. Timmy and Elaine took their bow. Everyone clapped and hooted. Great demo, you two. She sure is mean. You were great with her, Timmy. I don't think I'll ever be afraid of her again, said Timmy. Me either, said Elaine. You both did a fantastic job, she said Kathy. Come here, Timmy. She gave her son a big hug. I loved seeing how strong and wise you are. It's not easy to deal with such really rude and even mean people. I'm so glad that all of you are understanding how to use the one rule with grumpy adults. I'm glad you're not grumpy, Mom, said Timmy. Me too, said Kathy. Who's next? I want to go next, said Ken. I have some good news, and because of that, I want to do something different. I want all of you who want to, to be my partners in this next demo. As you all know, I'm very involved in scouting. Well, I'm invited to speak at a scouting conference. I've been thinking I'd like to suggest a new badge, the one rule. Wow, Ken. So I want to practice my presentation. This is just going to be the first time. I'll probably want to practice it lots of times. After everyone was settled. I have been invited here to present an idea for a new badge. Even Cub Scouts could start earning this badge. 
it could go all the way to Eagle Scouts. I learned about it by joining a club called the Guardians. We help keep kids from being bullied and from becoming bullies. I want to propose that we have scout badges for the one role. Then Ken bowed. That's as far as I can go today. Everyone clapped and shouted. Great work, Ken. You go, Ken, our hero. Awesome, Ken, said Kathy. We'll definitely all work on this. You're going to give a stellar proposal. Awesome idea. Guardians, I am so proud of you. On with the show. Who's next? Okay, that's it for today, folks. I hope you all have a great week and use the 